Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and we are talking about X-ray tutorials. As a part of today's session, we'll be stepping into the most important discussion of X-ray, which is to prepare a report and finally generate the overall summary report. All right, as a part of X-ray, we do get document generator. Meanwhile, I was preparing this tutorial series. A lot of people have asked me this question already that, hey, can you tell us more about how to prepare document generator or use this option to prepare the documents and reports through X-ray? So today in this particular tutorial, I'll be helping you work with several options of document generator and help you understand how a report can be populated using X-ray and what are different reports which are possible, how to configure it and how to publish a report as a part of our discussion. So slightly lengthy tutorial, but yet very detailed and informative. So let's look forward to the document generator as an option in X-ray today. As a part of this tutorial, we'll be trying to understand how to generate documents in X-ray. Uh, to do this, of course, we'll be getting up with setting the templates for the documentation, then generating the various documents, and then how to view the documented reports. Before we start talking about how to generate documents, we need to understand what exactly document is all about in when it comes to the x-ray now x-ray has capability of populating different reports and building up the dashboards using the gadgets but what if you want a document or like written uh, reports rather than graphs and charts and data tables so these document generator is basically to populate theoretical reports of different activities what you performed throughout x-ray and these could be a very useful information like a deliverable, could be another artifact to prepare test progress reports and even sometime test summary report for a particular iteration or maybe for a particular release. These are not something which you use quite often, but never know if you have to share a test progress report every <clears throat> now and then, then this could be very time saving concept for you. So let's have a look how exactly we get started. The document generator option can be found in the project settings that is under the extra settings once again. So let's navigate to project settings in your project and uh, you will be having a section called as apps where you have the extra installed. So you'll have a dedicated extra settings tab here. Just click on this again and here you will find the option of document generator. So the document generator option has to be configured before you can start using it. For example, let's click on document generator here and you would find that there are no templates available. You can install X-ray templates from the template store given that you have X-ray with you. However, not licensed right now, but you can certainly have license one copy in your organization and you can look forward to upload if you have already some templates with you or look forward to go to the store. So let's click on the store here and see what we have got for us. So right now here, there will be a lot of, lot of templates available for you. For example, test run details, test report, test plan basic with cover page, test plan advanced with cover page, which you can also find a detailed instruction right below this that what exactly will be different between a basic and the advanced one. For example, here, the basic one says this template creates a report from the test plan showing its details and a table of test run and execution. Whereas in this one, you can see test run details, test temp details, attachments, evidences, and defects as well. So let's install this one. Sounds really interesting. Click on install and this particular template will be installed on your next ray instance. We got a confirmation right here that it is ready. Following that, if you would like to do continuous uh, on the same, you can also do that. For example, let's look forward to requirement traceability matrix. And right under each of the template, you would see how many people have downloaded this so far, which may talk about the popularity of that traceability or that particular document template. <clears throat> Click on install here. And you see that there are so many templates available, so you may look forward to understand what is best suited for you. Let's pick up another one as well. And that's it. I think we are good to go. And let's close this. Close this. And we got three documents available with us. 
requirement traceability matrix, uh, test execution advance, and test plan advance. So all you have to do is you can just click on these settings icon right here on the right side and say download, right? If you want to add more templates, you have the add button here or click on the store button here. The add button will take you back to the three options that you can upload it with any other option, right? You can drag and drop. So earlier you saw that there were three options. You had upload, you had add, and you had configure, right? So here we will be looking forward to have add or store if you want to add more. Now let's click on download here and let's have a look. Yes, you can see that there is a Word document being downloaded and that's ready to be seen. So let's click on this file and see what exactly does it look like and what is my report. Oh, that looks really interesting, right? We got prepared by so and so and you can just say enable editing here. So you can filter it out or you can configure these parameters in the configuration of the documentation, which I'll show you in some time. And you can even have this clause like this or confidential reports and so on, right? And you will have a title, the picture, amazing picture there. You will have some details available for the links, etc. And uh, you will have the you know details required. But I think again, it's just that because we did not have proper you know traceability done, uh, it does not show me much information. Anyways, let's see if we are having something more to say. Uh, so it has this. So let's see the test plan here. Let's see download and let's click on this. What do we see? Oh, we see again the same thing or but pretty much more detail. We got 10 pages here and has got a table of content with all the information what we need. And it has command, description, issue attachment, precondition, parameters and very detailed information which you see the past update. But there are a lot of uh, parameters if you see it's all empty, right? This is instead of giving me the uh, details of every single execution, it is giving me some kind of references which are actually empty, right? So it is not able to read that. So what exactly it is, let's try figuring it out and try fixing it. So let's go to edit button here and see what exactly is he looking forward to. So here is the name, here is the description. If you want, you can configure and edit that. You can look forward to the scopes like issue details or if you drop down you want releases, issue navigator, test repository, plan board, etc. to include. Right? You can also see the output formats to be in docs or PDF. If you can include the entities like the issue types which you want to import and page breaks, etc. So you can pretty much configure and default format can be defined here. Let's click on save. So that's pretty much what we can set it up as. And you can look forward to download these reports accordingly. Right? So it's all uh, looking good. And I think we have the information. So let's download this report and see how does it look like. Okay, that's another one. And it has uh, the information about the same. So we need to pause the details and uh, check out that how exactly the reports can look like and we can have the runs name and other things as parameters to be defined now given that your report is now ready with the configurations and the parameters it's time for us to start downloading the information and see how exactly we can download single and multiple reports let's go back to the project and uh, go to any particular test for example we got uh, issues so we do have three templates we have executions we have traceability and we do have uh, the test plan so let's pick up a test plan here and see what we can do about it so just because you have got information with the x-ray you have option right here on to the three dots which is ellipsis that x-ray document generator so in this test plan we just have one test to do so let me check another test plan which is mfp 44 and I think here we have two executions or two tests with different results. Oh great, we have more. So let's try exporting this as a single issue, right? So it's exporting a single issue in the X-ray document generator. Let's see what exactly it is. And they're asking you the template. What template do you want to follow? So we got some you know project templates which are created. So I would say I want the test plan advanced with the cover. Or you do have some other options which you can pick it up, which is 
defaults right PDF or Word I want PDF click on export and let's have a look how exactly the document looks like and does it really make sense to us this time so click on download the file is now downloaded let's click on this and view it Woo. we got the project name so earlier if you saw that we got the template which was not having any kind of real information but had the parameters declared there but this time parameters are replaced with the real value when you exported it so the project name my project uh, prepared by so and so the issue ID is this and there's also a QR code with the confidentiality and if you scroll through now you will not see any kind of parameters you will see exactly the details of the the test plan and every single thing is being given with the percentage parameters the status wow that looks amazingly nice right you can look forward to submit this report to anyone and give great outputs to any organization so this is how you can populate great reports other than the graphs and the charts using x-ray Woo, that looks so nice anyways that was one of the example that was with single issue if you wanted to export like test plan which is an epic at the testing level and many things can be brought together what if I want to do multiple things at the same time so the journey begins with uh, applying a filter right because you may not be interested in everything what you have here so you might be interested to pull out something specific so you may carry out a criteria based filter or you may even say for example I'm interested to pull only the um, kind of like tests or you can say I'm interested only in test executions so you can just filter out whatever you're interested in or you can just pull out the you know various tests which you have created right so let's me put off the test execution here let's put up the tests uh, which may have different or maybe same answers so let's okay let's import it right given that you know already that it is there you are trying to import so in this case when you want to export multiple items the question was how to do it for single issue and multiple issues so single issue you directly go to issue and do that from the ellipsis but for the multiple items you'll find an x-ray button here on the top right let's click on this and the pretty much same options will come but this time for multiple that hey what do you want to do do you want to do a traceability matrix or you want to just populate a test report so let's see the traceability matrix how does it look like and if you want to have a page break specific to component which is more of like group by right so you can do that so I would say no that's fine I'll not use that click on export and all multiple issues can be populated as a report again so let's download this and uh, let's have a look well again pretty much the same and it's just giving me the list of all the tests right but I think not all the tests are linked to any particular defect so it doesn't have the right information yeah so you may have looked forward to have maybe a test report let's see what exactly looks like so instead of this if I go with this so it, it complete the option template depends here on the filtered item we filtered tests so we are getting test related items if you filter anything else like test plan executions you will have different uh, uh, templates available for you all right that's great let's quickly do this and check this one too and this has put the similar expected information now we don't have much so it's just empty right now right so this is what all about the document generator is I know there are pretty much a lot of people who were interested to know about this and uh, they were trying to explore and understand uh, what exactly document generation can do and this can do amazingly a lot of things so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else beyond this I'll be more than happy to respond to you so feel free to comment below I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning